Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be covering some of the top apps that I would recommend for you for widgets on your Android device. Now, every Android device is a bit different because of the skin of software that they have over it. So not all of these will work the exact same on every device. So Samsung, Xiaomi, Huawei, all of them kind of have differences when it comes to these apps. But overall, these are some really good apps that I would recommend you guys try out. The phone that I'm using in this video is the Xiaomi 12T Pro. I have a whole video on it and a unboxing if you want to check that out I also have that video linked in the iptop for you guys to go check out so here you can see the home screen that I have set up here and I'm just gonna be covering the apps that I use to customize it so that you guys can go ahead and customize something like this for yourself so we have here some apps that just have cool widgets then we have designated widget apps um, and then yeah that's basically what we have here going on. So let's go ahead and cover what these apps are. So first off, I do want to say that you can obviously just use the system widgets that you have. So for instance, if you want the time, you can just go ahead and add um, you can add it just like that and then you have it on your phone. So obviously you can use some system widgets. You'll also see here is the weather widget. So that all really plays a big role. So you can obviously use system widgets on their own, but then you also have some apps that just make adding widgets better and just more fun. I also right off the bat want to recommend changing the font on your phone because this also adds a lot. So for instance, this dashboard would just be normal text if I didn't have a font installed. Um, also the time here, my widget weather widget there. Um, also this time widget, the date and everything. It's all influenced by the time, the font that you have set on your device. So you can also go ahead and change that. If I go into settings and I go to fonts, Let's go to font here. You will see this is the font that I have set up right now, PK Summertime, it's just a very plain font, but usually your device will have a place where you can go ahead and change your fonts. They have a lot you can choose from and then you can also download some designated apps that have fonts as well. So yeah, I just feel like that really adds a lot to your look of your widgets and your app icons and everything. So I recommend changing that as well if you want to. Um, but yeah, let's cover the um, widgets that I have here. So the first one here, is just my Notion widget. So all you need to do is download the Notion app and then set up your page however you want. If you don't know what Notion is, it's a good all-in-one note-taking app. So if I click on this widget, it will take me to my Notion dashboard. So you just set the icon, you set a banner for yourself, and then you're good to go. So this is what it looks like for me. Um, so that is what that looks like. So you can just go ahead and add your Notion dashboard and usually it looks pretty cool on your device, especially when you've set an icon and a banner, it just makes it look really cool. Then the second option I have here for you guys is this one here. So I made this widget using the Color Widgets app. So this one is also very popular on iPhone. If it is the same creators, I'm not sure it's the same name, um, but Color Widgets is really nice. I think the same creators that make Color Widgets also made this My Theme app. So it's very similar, but with Color Widgets, you have more control over your widgets specifically. Whereas My Theme, I think is more focused on like app icons and things like that. Um, so yeah, color widgets, I would highly recommend you guys download. It's really cool. Um, and let's just go in here. So here you can see, I actually just customized that one time widget. You can go ahead and set the background color of your widgets, or you can just choose a photo if you want to. So I'm gonna go to gallery here, and then I can choose a photo. Um, do note, these have insane amounts of um, ads. So just do note that. I'm just gonna bring down the background color so you can actually see the image. So then you can go ahead and change the text color as well to make your time stand out more. So you can go ahead and change it to specific images as well if you don't wanna just set it as a plain background color. Here you can see another example of what that could look like. So I highly recommend you go ahead and test out color widgets. Here you can see all the widgets that they have just right off the bat. You can go to the category, so this is Christmas. You can go to aesthetic, calendar, clock, color, um, they have a bunch you can go ahead and go through to find your exact style. But then also, like for instance, if I wanted um, to set that clock that I just showed you guys, you can go ahead and choose any one that you want here. Just click on the widget and then you can go ahead and click on edit widget down here. 
and click on change style and then you'll see even more styles that you can go ahead and customize and choose from. So this is the one that I chose, this one here. Um, and then you just go from here and change everything to your liking, change the image, all that. Um, so that is how you can go ahead and customize your widgets in color widgets. They also have themes here they can go to so that you can go ahead and change. So it does say you need the My Theme app for the app icon change option. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open the app and then it will show you the theme. So make sure you do have the My Theme app also installed on your phone. So I'm gonna click on Get Theme here. And then what you can go ahead and do is you can see all the app icons that they have here. This one does need a premium membership because it has that crown on it, but then it shows you all the app icons that you can get. You can It shows you all the widgets, so you can go ahead and select which widgets you want to install. Again, some of them, these will be paid versions, some of these will be free. Um, then you can go ahead and set that. You can choose the wallpapers that you want from that pack. So I do recommend just going through here and finding something that you might like. Again, this is more in the My Theme app then in the color widgets app they kind of do work together so color widgets is good for the solely changing the widgets and uh, my theme is more for the themes that you have but why I want to show you this app is because when you click on the get theme then you automatically get access to changing the widgets or choosing widgets to install on your device so it kind of goes with widgets as well if you want to use some of the widgets that they have here um, so that's also really nice so between color widgets and my theme, you will find some good widgets to use on your device. With these two apps also, you have the option to change app icons. These are my custom app icons on here. I just have three just to show you guys how this works. Um, so this is also done in the color widgets or my themes app. They both have this capability because it is basically the same app. So I have a whole video on how to do this step by step. So I'm not gonna go through that in this video. So go to the eye on top if you wanna go ahead and check out that video on how you can change your custom app icons, but that really adds a lot to your widgets as well. So I recommend doing that. Then these two widgets here are from a different app, um, but they all are just images that I got off of Pinterest. So Pinterest is here solely for the reason that Pinterest is the best place that you can find anything you want to customize your phone. They have so many different little like graphics that you can add. They have cute little illustrations and quotes and all that. So I highly recommend finding all your widget inf inspiration and everything off of Pinterest, downloading it to your device, and then you can go ahead and set up these widgets. So these are all used with an app called Simple Photo Widget. So it's really easy to use. All you need to do is you have to go to your edit mode and go to your widgets and find that um, widget app. So this is Simple Photo Widget. You can choose the different sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one here. And then you go ahead and choose your image first. So you go to the top photo source and then choose this photo that you wanna use. So I'm gonna go with this one, click on select. Then you can go ahead and edit some more things. So you can adjust the corner radius. So that means it will give it more of a rounded corner as you can see here. So I like usually doing that maybe like 17%. Um, then you can also go ahead and adjust the cropping. I usually set mine to center crop so that it does crop it if I want to have the image cropped because I'm gonna show you in just a second how to resize this widget. Um, so I usually set it to center crop. Um, and then I click on um, create. So yeah, that is basically what all I said. You can go ahead and set some more if you want. Um, so you can also go ahead and choose if you want the widget to name to be on or off, um, but usually I don't do that. And then you're gonna just click on create. Um, and then you have your widget here. And um, once you're happy with it, you're gonna click on the correction mark. And what you can then do to resize it is you can just hold down and kind of move it slightly until these blue borders come around. I know on Samsung this is probably easier, but on Xiaomi it's a bit more difficult. Um, and then you can go ahead and resize it however much you want. So as you can see here, I'm just resizing it to the size that I want it to be, and then I can put it anywhere 
on my screen. So that is what I did with these two. I just added, got this image off of Pinterest, got this image also off of Pinterest, and then just I sized them however I wanted them, and then you're good to go. So simple photo widget, I highly recommend using as well. Then you'll see I have two other apps here as well. So to-do list here is just one that I wanted to show you guys. If you want a to-do list widget, this is what it looks like. It's pretty minimal. Um, so that is a really nice widget that you can also add an app with a nice widget. Um, and then X icon changer is also an option to change your app icons if you don't want to use color widgets or um, my theme. It's very simple to use and way more straight to the point, I feel like, than color widgets. So you can just go ahead and choose your app icon go to photo and choose from the gallery. The first time you're entering this app, you're gonna have to watch a video to enable the gallery option, but it's just a quick video and then you're good to go. Then you can go ahead and choose your app icon, choose the sh shape and size and everything done and okay and then you can go ahead and change it and then it will add it to your home screen just like that and you can place it wherever you want it and it works really well. So um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that option for an app icon changer app if you wanted something else other than color widgets in my theme. But yeah, that's all for widgets. I highly recommend checking out these apps, playing around with them, seeing if you can find something that you like. Um, yeah, highly, highly recommend you guys check this out. So that was my video on widget apps that I recommend for you guys on Android. I hope this helped you guys out and you got some cool apps that you can now test out to customize your phone. I do love the customization on Android, so I think this is really nice to play around with. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related videos like this and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.